B, I guess. Hey, Trini, what's going on? Good morning. Thank you, Tiza. Good morning, everyone. We are having a telethon this morning. KHON2 has partnered with the American Red Cross Hawaii chapter to have their very first telethon because what a wonderful organization the Hawaii Red Cross is. They respond to disasters on average every four days. Uh, of course, we're kind of uh, focused on the uh, destruction that happened because of Tropical Storm Isel on Hawaii Island, but that's just one of many disasters that they respond to. We're going to find out more about the organization throughout the morning. But right now, I would like to introduce you all to Linda Dibdo Fadali, and you are a Red Cross Ready When the Time Comes volunteer. What is that? It means that we are ready when the time comes. Like if there is a hurricane like a cell, we have gone through the training and we're ready to respond when there is a hurricane or any other disaster in the community. Okay, now what business do you work with? Because you are a corporate volunteer. Yes, we are. I work for UHA, and UHA is a very community-based health insurance company, and we are a sponsor of the American Heart Association, American Red Cross, and uh, we they supply the training to us. We volunteer. There's about 30 employees at UHA, and we're all volunteer trained volunteers. Now, what is that like to be a volunteer? You actually were at one of the shelters set up for SL. Yes, I was. I was at Castle High School because that's close in my community. And I was very impressed on how fast that the American Red Cross set up the uh, Castle High School. The principal was there. We had a public health nurse. We had a behavioral health professional. We had medical response services. There were four RNs besides myself. We had a social worker there. Uh, we had three homeless people that were in the shelter and then tourists that were in an RV. And so I was very impressed with how fast everything went, how smooth everything went. It was just an amazing experience. Well, the American Red Cross Hawaii chapter has been around for a long time, so they've probably got it down to a science on how to most effectively uh, help all of these people. They do, and I was just talking outside, and I'm nearing retirement, and this is something that I can easily transition to into retirement Wonderful. as a nurse. And we hope that your story has inspired other corporate uh, folks out there to also volunteer. It is. It's an amazing experience. You're with a lot of experienced people, and you just feel so great helping others. All right. Thank you. Um, Boy, a lot of volunteers were needed for this last uh, disaster, Tropical Storm Isel. We'll talk with CEO Coralie Matayoshi a little bit later to find out some of those statistics on how many uh, people were needed to help and continue to be needed to help all of those people, especially on Hawaii Island in the Puna area. Um, our volunteers are waiting for you to give them a call, folks. Please call, make a donation. No amount is too small. The number to call is 591 Six five nine one six three three six. Do you hear the phones ringing? No. I don't either. <laughs> Call right now. We want to hear the phones ring, Come folks. On. Again, no donation is too small. All of the monies raised will stay right here in Hawaii and help your neighbors in need. You never know. You could be the next person um, needing their help. Again, American Red Cross Hawaii Chapter. They respond 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. What a wonderful organization. Thank you so much, Linda, for being with us this morning. Big mahalo to our volunteers who woke up really early this morning to answer your call. So please give them something to do, 591 63